I'd now like to welcome Paul McIntyre, the new editor of the Otago Daily Times. Prime Minister, members of parliament, Otago University Acting Vice-Chancellor Helen Nicholson, Deputy Mayor Cherry Lucas, Allied Press Chief Executive Grant McKenzie, invited guests, ladies and gentlemen, and most importantly, our Class Act Award recipients. Tenakoto, Tenakoto, Tenakoto Kato. Welcome to the 2023 Otago Daily Times Class Act Awards. As Mel quite rightly said, I'm the new editor of the ODT. I'm honoured that this ceremony is one of the first functions of my editorship. Today is about honouring and celebrating success. You are this country's future. By accepting this award, I hope this gives you the confidence to follow your dreams and push on to succeed in whatever field you choose. As a father of two daughters whose achievements motivate me every day, I know how proud your friends and family are of you and your achievements. There are 56 of you representing 28 schools and you've been recognised as the cream of Otago secondary school elite in 2023. You've been nominated by your schools on the basis of your achievements to date and potential for success in the next stage of your life. Class Act Bank began because we at the ODT and Allied Press felt, and continue to feel, excellence should be encouraged. It is now in its 24th year and we're delighted it is firmly established in the school calendar. The award is based on excellence which can come in many forms academic, sporting, social, artistic, cultural, or leadership qualities, or a combination of many which sees a pupil nominated. I'd like to take this opportunity to thank the University of Otago for its generous scholarship offer to our Class Act graduates. In last weekend's paper feature, writers Kim Dungey and Paul Gorman covered inspirational stories in the mix about the class of 2013. They are making waves in the health and science sectors, music, theatre and other creative industries and in sport and endeavour. In 10 years time, we will all be reading about your successful endeavours. When I first heard about the awards shortly after arriving at the ODT, I wanted to know more about them and what a better way than to ask a recipient who is one of our reporters. Ruby Shaw, who works in one of our regional offices, was a recipient in 2020. Ruby said receiving it was a very proud moment for her and her family. In her words, she told me, Class Act also made me aware of the support network I had around me, people who helped me and made it possible for me to achieve. Although it wasn't something I set out to achieve, Class Act validated the work I had done during high school. I didn't know what I wanted to do with my life when I got Class Act. She's actually put, and I still don't, which is worrying. <laughs> I'll talk to her later about that. 
But it gave me some much-needed confidence in myself and my abilities, which meant that I could go out and start figuring it out. Wise words indeed. Class Act is also a reflection of what Allied Press and the ODT strives to be. As a proud, independent media company, we believe we're not just here to inform and entertain. We want to lead and provide thought for opinion. But key in all of this is being part and a reflection of our community. Now for some acknowledgements. Pupils of Logan Park High School, under the guidance of the ODT's Jessamy Simonson, will be serving you some delicious finger food after the awards, and we thank them for being here today. Thank you to the schools for their continued support and participation in Class Act, and to the staff at the Dunedin Public Art Gallery for all their help. I also want to thank our bagpiper, Quentin McKenzie from John McLashen College, who is also a Class Act recipient today. And I would also like to thank Eleanor Grantley for her help. Special thanks to the ODT reporting team, which compromised, yeah, comprised young can cadets from the PIJF scheme, and our photographers who did a great job in compiling our Class Act publication. A quick plug. Don't miss tomorrow's ODT for full coverage of today's events. And certainly don't be buy, shy in buying several copies to send to family and friends. Have as many as you like. To the young people being recognised here today, please continue to aim high, continue to work hard and to always to question. Your generation faces many challenges, but I have such faith in young people of today that you will come up with the solutions and you will have exciting futures ahead. We're honoured to have Prime Minister Chris Hipkins to present the awards. We are grateful to Mr Hipkins for continuing the tradition of having the Prime Minister of the day present these awards. It's obviously a quiet time for you, <laughs> so thank you. <laughs> Seriously, thank you for taking time out from campaigning. We believe Mr Hipkins' presence here is an honour for Otago and testament to the excellence of our young people. Speaking of excellence, the University of Otago is a world-class university and we in Otago are very fortunate to have this institution on our doorstep. It is what helps make Dunedin the vibrant city it is. So I would now like to introduce its Acting Vice-Chancellor Helen Nicholson to say a few words. Thank you. Tēnā koutou, tēnā koutou, tēnā koutou katoa, ko Helen Nicholson tōku ingoa, te tūmu whakarai taupua, te whāri wānanko o tāko. Kia ora, my name's Helen Nicholson and I'm the Acting Vice-Chancellor of the University of Otago and I'm delighted to be able to join you this, for this special event to celebrate the Class Act recipients. I'd like to start by congratulating you all on this significant achievement. Can I also say well done to your parents and wider whānau and your teachers, as I know that they have supported you in your success. Class Act recognises the achievements of our sec senior secondary school students across academic, cultural and sporting pursuits. And I, like many, I'm sure, really enjoyed reading about your achievements in the ODT earlier this week. You certainly are an amazing bunch of young people. While there is diversity in the range of endeavours Class Act recognises, there are also some common elements that you all show. These include dedication, determination, leadership, and good citizenship. At the University of Otago, we too recognize diversity of success, as well as the common elements that underpin it. More than that, we purposefully provide a rich range of opportunities to give our students the chance for personal as well as academic growth. Employers often tell us that personal maturity is one of the defining characteristics of an Otago graduate. More importantly, international research shows that those graduates who have taken the chance to develop in the broadest sense at university, not just academically, are the most likely to go on to enjoy wholly satisfying lives. You've already dis demonstrated that capacity for broad development in your school years. There are dozens of previous Class Act recipients studying at the University of Otago this year. Those of you who follow in their footsteps in 2024 and beyond, 
will doubtless seize the opportunities that Otago provides for further development and will enjoy a rewarding world-class university experience that will pave the way for exciting and hugely fulfilling futures. So I do hope that some of you will take up our offer of a scholarship and join our large Otago Fano. Those of you who choose other paths will, I am sure, also make major contributions to the intellectual, cultural, spiritual and economic well-being of your communities, families and country. I offer all of you my warmest congratulations. This, is, this award is not only recognition of what you have achieved so far, it also signals that you're on track for continued success. Norera tenakoto 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 katoa. So I'd now like to introduce our honoured guest, the Prime Minister, Mr. Christopher Hipkins. Great. Ena mana, ena reo, ena iwi, rauranga tera mā, tēnā koutou, tēnā koutou, tēnā koutou katoa. Uh, kia ora everybody, uh, good evening, it is fantastic to be here. This is my first time coming to the uh, Otago Daily Times Class Act Awards as Prime Minister. I do have to say I want bagpipes every time I come to Dunedin from here on in. It's quite the way to enter a building and uh, I thoroughly enjoyed that. Can I acknowledge... A few of the VIPs in the room today, uh, can I acknowledge the Allied Press owners, Sir Julian Smith, the Chairman of the Board, Nick Smith, Director and CEO Grant McKenzie, uh, the Editor of the Otago Daily Times, Paul McIntyre, Helen Nicholson, the Acting Vice-Chancellor of uh, the University of Otago, uh, and I also want to acknowledge my parliamentary colleagues who are here today, Rachel Brooking, Ingrid Leary, David Clark, uh, and Michael Woodhouse, can I acknowledge all of you. Um, I would like to acknowledge the principals of all of the schools who are here today. <laughs> so that was a popular choice. Uh, and also all of the parents and caregivers of those who have been nominated and uh, say uh, thank you to all of you. This is an incredibly special event. It's always exciting to be able to share and celebrate young people's successes. And I want to pay credit to the Otago Daily Times for doing these awards for 24 years. It's an amazing fixture in the calendar, and I feel very privileged to be part of that. As you'll know, this year's theme is celebrating excellence and leadership potential. It can sound a bit daunting and lofty. It certainly would have if I had been one of the you know, potential award recipients who's standing here. But it's also a theme that I think is reflected by the young people who are standing here today. We are here to celebrate you and to celebrate your achievements. As a former Minister of Education, I was lucky enough on an almost daily basis to see just how impressive our young people are here in New Zealand. I saw how hard they work. I saw the goals that they were setting for themselves and most importantly, how deeply young people feel about making a positive difference in the world. Even after just a quick glance through the list of your achievements and goals, I have to say it's a little bit intimidating. From plans to become doctors, marine biologists, zoologists, to succeeding in music and sport, to striving in roles that are going to help our communities, I can tell that you're a group of young New Zealanders who know where you want to go and you've got a strong sense of taking care of others. So while you may all, in fact, already embody the idea of leadership potential, with that theme in mind, though, I did just want to share a few thoughts that might help you with your next adventures. Very good. There they are, right. <laughs> to me, it's pretty simple. Leadership is about bringing people together. It's about encouraging people to use their different strengths, and it's about creating an environment where people feel empowered. Another key part of the leadership uh, model that I subscribe to, it's a bit of a cliche, but is leading by example. So putting in the hard work when it comes to yourself, maintaining a strong sense of what your goals are and what you're hoping to achieve. Because whatever the particular job or project is that you're aiming for, it's important to maintain a sense of yourself and to stick to your own core values on the journey to get there. 
the path that you take will sometimes take a few unexpected twists and turns, many that you wouldn't have foreseen or even imagined when you started out on your journey. But if you're confident in your abilities and you maintain empathy for others throughout your journey, then the chances are that success isn't too far away. I've learned in the time that I have been doing this job that perseverance and attitude matter enormously. You never know what the challenges are that life is going to throw at you. If you'd have said to me this time last year that I would be standing here today, I wouldn't have necessarily believed that. You have to grab opportunities when they're in front of you and you have to approach them with the right attitude. So for now, all I want to say really is congratulations for all of the hard work that it's taken for you to get here. I want to say how wonderful it is that your parents, your whānau and your friends are able to share this achievement with you. And I want to say thank you for having me here to take part in this great occasion. Enjoy the moment, soak in your own success and the very best of luck for whatever is next to come. Nō reira, tēnā koutou, tēnā koutou, tēnā koutou katoa. Thank you. I will now call your names in the order of the school that you appeared in the Class Act presentation. First across the stage is from Bayfield High School, Abel Saifuddin. May Amber Admiral. <laughs> Blue Mountain College, Paige Nickel. and Hannah Reid. <laughs> From Columba College, Zoe McElray. and Briar Duncan. <laughs> From Cromwell College, Kaya Hutchinson. and Angus Drennan. <laughs> 
from Dunstan High School, Isla Redgrave. And Emily Templeton. From East Otago High School, Abigail Patton. And Ashley Robinson. From Gore High School, Nathaniel Ewer. And Gabrielle LaRue. From John McGlashan College, Miller McElray. and Quentin McKenzie. <laughs> From Kaikarai Valley College, Tyrone Bell. Unfortunately, Alice Barrett could not be here today, so the school will be accepting on her behalf. Give her a round of applause. <laughs> From King's High School, Dylan Pledger. and Massimo Pizzuto. From Lawrence Area School, Samara Sheridan. and Toby Harricks. From Logan Park High School, Jack Tarr. and Cora Chapman. <laughs> From Maniatoto Area School, Emma Kinney.
and Cassidy Pont. From Mount Aspiring College, Jessie Winter. And Clark West. From Otago Boys High School, Zach Cumming. And Edward Finney Waters. From Otago Girls High School, Jumana Moharam. And Catherine Lund. From Queen's High School, Martha McCauley. And Chloe Gray. From Roxburgh Area School, Luke McKercher. And Danielle Andrews. From St Hilda's College, Zara Geddes. And Ava Beans. From St. Kevin's College, Shresh Artikari. And Mackenzie Clement. From St Peter's College, Lauren Pinkney. And Rachel Miller. Woo. From South Otago High School, 
Ryan Williams. And Jethro Weir. <laughs> From Tyree College, Caitlin Stewart. And Philippa King. From Trinity Catholic College, Samuel Kelly. And April Gamal. <laughs> From Tokomariro High School, Jenna Griffin. And Cameron Stephen. <laughs> From Waitaki Boys High School, Ben O'Sullivan. And Dominic Walsh. <laughs> From Waitaki Girls High School, Holly Ross. And Rebecca Dorsey. <laughs> and from Wakatipu High School, Samantha Fuchs. And Marley King Smith. Thank you. The pupils are all now gathering downstairs. The Prime Minister and Paul will join them. So while they're down having their photograph taken, we invite you to have a bit of a mingle, relax, and wait for them to return. Thank you.
Is that 